Peace Corps as an organization, the aim of the World Peace Corps is to maintain peace, law and order in the country. With the coming of Peace Corps and other relevant uh, organizations in Nigeria, if the federal government can come on our head to assist and seek synergy, collaboration with us, we are going to take and reduce most of the difficulties we are facing in the area of security challenge in the country. Now, I will say this as a way forward, that the government has failed in the time past and as at present to look at youth engagement. And if proper youth engagement is not done, then the cycle that perpetrate this crime because some other cartels influence and lure them into it, we might not really get it right. On this note, I am calling on the IGP I am calling on the Director General DSSS, I am calling on Chief of Defense Staff, and I am calling on the Minister of Interior, who was the Civil Defense, the, uh, the, the Immigration, the Fire Service, and the Correctional Service under him, that it is time for us to wake up to an effective responsibility that we have to do with restoring back peace. Peace in its sincerity back to the people. At the moment, Nigerians and all the citizens of this country has lost hope on our security architecture, that they don't have what it take to protect our people. And if all this can be looked into from a sincere perspective, engaging the youth, providing enough manpower, at the moment, the security uh, uh, workforce of our security agencies in Nigeria is not up to 1.5 to protect about 200 million persons. It is impossible. So there is need to increase the workforce of our security agencies, whereby from the, normal, from the present figure, let us go about another 1.5 million to make it about 3 million security workforce. And this will really help. And in conclusion, there is need for the government to look into the bill of Peace Corps and see Peace Corps as another solution to a kind of aid in fighting the insecurity we are facing today. Peace Corps are today has about 200,000 personnel. So if these personnel can be mainstreamed in to be able to assist the current security agencies, it will also go a very long way to bridge some little gaps to help in fighting the social menace that we are having today. Thank you. I welcome you all to this lecture organized as part of the activities lineup to commemorate the 26th year anniversary of the corporate resistance of the Peace Corps of Nigeria. Besides marking another milestone in the history of this organization, this day is also of great significance to the entire Peace Corps of Nigeria family, as well as its friends and associates, as today's event coincides with the organization 24th 2024 Founder Day celebration, which is the birthday of my humble self as the founder of the organization. <laughs> the entire officers and men of the Corps nationwide celebrate this day to mark another year of collective struggle while reflecting on the challenges so far encountered as well as the achievement and beautiful memories of the past years. I welcome our most esteemed guests for finding us worthy to have honored our invitation and to be part of this historic day. Your presence here today is greatly valued and will by no means be taken for granted. Mr. Chairman, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Peace Corps of Nigeria established on the 10th of July, 1998, exactly 26 years today, has made this day very significant in its calendar. It is on account of this that we, as members of the organization, have decided to commemorate this day in our own little way. Indeed, today marks the culmination of a 26-year story, a story 
with a humble beginning, but highly rewarding. Guided by the five I value of the organization, which are inclusion, integrity, inspiration, innovation, and impact, the core envisioned in Nigeria where young people are adequately inspired and equipped to achieve their desired goal. And our mission is to connect young people with opportunities capable of transforming their life and creating a more peaceful society for all. The vision and mission of the organization are thus targeted at providing a very valuable platform for character development and empowerment of the youth while addressing the social challenges confronting them at the same breaths. The cardinal objective of the core is premised on youth development, patriotic services, and peace building through distinct reorientation and strict discipline. To us, at the Peace Corps, this can be achieved through, upon the realization of two truths. Firstly, only in a peaceful environment will young people realize their full potentials. And secondly, young people are innately endowed with all the necessary tools to achieve the peaceful world of, the, of, of our dream today.